Hey everyone, how are you doing? If you're looking to create a professional and high catchy flyer to promote your podcast or your music, then this tutorial is for you because in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to create what you can see on your screen and all the steps will be explained in this particular video. But before that, just in case this is the first time you are seeing my face or this channel, I invite you to invite to this channel so we can hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year because this channel is all about Canva. And if you're on the free version of Canva, I have a link in the description box below that can help you start using Canva Pro for free. So without any further ado, let's jump straight into the video. Alright, so this is what we are going to do and the first thing I will do is to create a new page. By the way, some of the elements have been linked down below because I had to download some external elements. So make sure to check in the description box below to find the link that should lead you to some of the resources I am using in this particular video. Okay, okay. so here we are, we have a blank um, canvas Okay, and the dimension we are using is 1080 by 1350. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is to work on the background so make sure you've clicked on the canvas come into background color okay and come to add new color you'd want to add a green into it okay so something like this then once you have it selected click on it again and choose gradient okay in gradient you would want to use a darker green okay for the second color so a darker green for the second color and you should have something like this the color code i'm using is 045200 okay and for the first color was ob6600 now we have the circular gradient that's what we want to use for this okay but you can see the difference isn't obvious okay so with the first color we would want to increase it a little bit so we can have into something brighter now this is what we have at the moment the second thing to do is to come here in element and just search for glitch okay so just search for glitch and you can see we have a lot of glitches in here you can come into graphics all right and you can see there so, so you can just choose any one of your choice okay so i can select this and make it bigger okay or we can choose any one day any one you choose should work once you have your glitch selected you can just reduce the transparency okay so you can have something like this okay come back into elements and just search for abstract okay so abstract rings sound wave okay so sound wave okay search for this and you should have a lot of them you know popping up but come into graphics okay that's where we want to focus on and you can look through there are so many of them in here and just select the one you feel works for you okay so maybe i can go in for this and i can increase the size okay so that i have something like this come into the color and we are just going to change the color to green okay so we have something like this then if we want we can just actually not if you want reduce the transparency to somewhere like 66 okay and that should be fine hey that's pretty good the next thing we want to do is to add our artists or you know whoever you want to use in your design okay so in my case i would go to my recently used images okay just to pull up the person i used for my design okay so i will just come in here and the keywords to search for is portrait of beard african american rapper in the studio okay so i'll just select him and add him here and increase the size okay so i'll just position him here like we have right now okay then come to edit photo and bg remover this is a pro version or a pro feature in canva so make sure okay make sure you're checking the link in the description box below to upgrade to canva pro for free and if you're liking this video you know i think it doesn't hurt to hit on the like button while we are still on okay yeah i would highly appreciate it actually so now what we are simply going to do is press r on our keyboard okay and we are going to be creating a gradient okay so we position it somewhere here and increase it to somewhere here like this okay then come into color okay and make sure you have it all black then click on gradient the second color we are just going to make it white okay then come the slider and drag it all the way to zero okay then choose the linear gradient for it but you can see the blacks are at the top so come to position and under position you have routine set it to 180 and this is what you should have 
over here okay so the next thing we want to do is to increase this gentleman a little bit okay yeah so that he covers the whole frame so something like this is very cool now we are going to be adding the spotify logos okay so by now you should have them okay you should have them by now so i would come into my uploads okay and in uploads i should have them here i'll select the first one over here okay and make it bigger okay and i will just send it behind him okay so send it behind him then come to edit photo then come to door tone okay and that door tone we will choose a custom door tone and set this to green okay so to green and just copy the color code then come here and you know paste it over here as well so you see what we have at the moment then come to blur okay with blur make sure you're clicking on the whole image and increase the intensity okay so something like 35 should be fine and you should have the effect like this okay lovely javelly now come back into uploads by now you should have your element and i'm choosing this one for example so i would increase the size okay and maybe position it maybe somewhere here and we'll send it to the back but just in case you don't know how to send it to the back right click come to layer come to show layers okay and just drag it and send it behind him okay now come to edit photo and the edit photo go to adjust scroll down to color okay until you find color and increase the saturation okay then the next thing you want to do is come back to effect come to blur and the whole image increase the blur intensity okay so we have something like this then you can just duplicate it okay and this time around can spread it behind so this can be here and i'll send it behind and i would bring this one also over here you know just doing something creative just be creative with your spreadings okay so something like that and would also maybe bring this here okay something like this should be okay okay now the next thing we want to do is we want to duplicate this image okay so duplicate it okay then come to edit photo come to the bg remover and click on reset tools okay so just say confirm and everything should be sent back okay then you would want to crop a part of the image so i want just his eyes okay and i would do this and i can just maybe position it here okay so his eyes something like this nice one then you can duplicate it okay then maybe we want a vertical one also over here so something like this okay then we can position it you know somewhere behind him then make sure you're coming to edit photo okay we are already there come to adjust and uh, the tint okay you want to make it green okay and move this one also as well over there then you know the color you can also set it to green okay and the color edits just make sure you are setting everything to green so once you do that for the image you can right click copy style and you know paste it on the second image okay so we have something like but you can see the green is not too green so i would want to increase the saturation okay so something like this is fine then i will right click copy the style and paste it here so that you know we want everything to look uniform okay so now that we have done this the next thing we are simply going to do is to add the play icons okay but the first thing is let's add our text so i'm going to add you know the name of our artist over here so we are going to add the name of let's the music and mine is called the amazing strings okay amazing strings and we will set it to white and i'm using the poppins font or typeface for this particular text okay so amazing strings and i can duplicate it and bring the artist name here okay but first of all let's make it smaller okay and i came up i came up with a name called kulu gangster okay <laughs> yeah so let's assume that's the name of this particular um artist all right then press l on your keyboard for a line and just you know drag it behind not behind below okay then increase the length of it okay then let's make sure it's centered okay so come to arrange and centered okay so make sure it's touching uh -huh, so something like that it's touching the um the margin okay or if you want to even view the margin just come to file come to settings and show margins okay so just click on that so that you can at least 
um, work within that. So everything is going to be within that. I mean, with the text. Okay. Yeah. Lovely. Javely. Now, after you do that, click on the line and duplicate the line with Control D. Okay. And the first line, reduce the transparency to maybe 50. Okay. So you can reduce it to 50. And with the length of this line, you can reduce it to any one at all or any length at all. And yeah, so that it might just look like we are playing the music. Okay. Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And we'll just move maybe everything to the top a little bit. So something like this is fine. Then come to element. Okay. And search for pause. Okay. Play icon. Okay. So pause play icon and come to graphics and you can see this would make our work easy but tweaking it would be very some way okay so we want to add everything manually okay so we have it here set the color to white okay then we have the forward play icon okay so forward play icon okay so we have it in here come inside over here then you can choose anyone that works with you so this one is fine okay then we can also duplicate it okay come to position then set it to 180 okay amazing then we would want to reduce the sizes of the two of them okay so something like that then we'll position one here and one here but we can't even see which is which so let's set the color to white so you can see so then we reduce it more Okay, now let's move this here and move this here and make sure the, you know, the gap or the space between them are equal. I think here the space is too much. So I'll bring this closer and closer. So 24, 24, you can see that. Okay, now come back here and just search for the shuffle. Okay, so you can see we have the shuffle icon. Choose the one that suits you. Then I'll just set it to white. Reduce the size. Okay, then position it here you know somewhere here like this okay i think it's fine but i would want the size to be reduced more then i will come back in here then search for the repeat okay play icon then we have interesting ones over here so you can just select it and set the color to white okay reduce the size and we can also position it here you know sometimes the icon they look cooler when you reduce the, you know their sizes now you can see we have them they are just too low over here so select all of them press and hold shift while you select all of them okay so select this and select this select select and we'll move everything to the top a little bit okay something like this it's you know it's fine then i one of the things we just want to do is to come into our uploads okay so come into upload choose the spotify icon okay right click on the initial ones and paste it the only thing we have to do is to remove the blur okay so come to blur and remove the blur okay that's all we want then we can reduce the size and just put it over here you know okay so maybe i'll reposition this over here and maybe increase the blur because it's not uh, something like that uh, i think it's better it's better this way okay then we can just see spotify okay so i'll just come here now see spotify okay then select it and reduce the size and we set the color to the same green okay over here okay amazing now the next thing we want to do is to add you know just duplicate this okay and to just be promotes the artist okay so his name has to stand out okay or you can even say anything at all if you want you can just say now available okay available just to give the impression that it's a new song okay so you can use that or you can use his name the option is you know it's yours so just do what works best for you okay so um just position it here now send it behind him just like that and the audio waves okay the first one the circle or the circular one we can just reduce it a little bit and you can see this is what we have been able to create inside of canva and i hope you enjoyed it if you did let me know in the comment section below and like this video if you actually found it very easy to follow the name is benjamin you can find more templates linked down below and don't forget there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video